Hello, welcome to House of Bridge. This is another part of the tutorial on how to run bridge tournaments on Hob. Today I'm going to tell you how to end the tournament and publish the results. That's expected to be the shortest movie in the series. Um, let's see where we are in our tournament. It's currently round number four out of five rounds. All tables finished playing and I'm ready to hit next round button. If I do it, the next round will automatically be triggered. There will be no warning. Uh, if alternatively I choose to hit end tournament, there will be a warning because not all rounds have been played. So let me uh, now um, finish the tournament. There, in essence, there is nothing uh, wrong with ending your tournament earlier. Uh, we planned for five rounds, but we only played four. So I'm going to uh, end the tournament. And if that was the last round, which it is not, then the system um, well, the next round button would be uh, disabled uh, and the system would not ask me, would not display a warning uh, when clicking end tournament. Uh, if all tables have finished, if this is the last round, then there is no warning. So if I hit end tournament, then um, everyone is going to see the results. Uh, so I'm now in admin screen, however, uh, the, r the screen that all the players are going to see is quite similar. They will just not see director calls, but there will be results and there will be a tournament chat. Um, people will now be able to comment on boards or say thank you to, to everyone. Um, but uh, what I wanted to show you is that although these results are official, it is also possible to adjust scores after the tournament has finished. So as long as I'm a tournament director, of course. So observe that the director calls um, tab is still there. I can switch here and resolve some pending calls if I haven't managed to do it before that. And for example, let's see that there is this call which says, please adjust four clubs to eight tricks. Bot one said that there was a wrong claim and that, uh, well, in board number six, it should be four clubs uh, down two. So first, before I go and adjust the board, let's see Let's observe that on the results page, bot 1 and bot 2, they have 9 imps, and this score uh, is probably going to change. Uh, so let's go to Traveler Lines by clicking this uh, table icon here. Another tab is opened, and in board number 6, which is automatically selected, we can indeed see that the score is minus three and minus two imps. I can click other results just to focus on this um, on this um, board alone. Adjust score and change from seven tricks to eight tricks. Adjust and see that the results for well for all pairs actually change to zero imps. So let me close now this tab, close the call, and if I go to results and refresh the page, now I will see that bot1 and bot2, they now have 11 imps and they had 9 imps before. So although in Hub there is no notion of results being um, official, um, still after the tournament has been played, has been finished, you can adjust the results um,
practically any time. That's not uh, a good practice, of course, but it is uh, technically possible. And after the tournament has finished, as a tournament uh, administrator, director, you are able to export the results in Eusebio format um, in order to load it uh, into some other software uh, if you want to. So that's it for now, folks. Thank you, and I hope to see you on Hub.